Now that we're done with the hard stuff, we are officially on vacation. We're gonna stop at a BCF, get some esky and some beer. So, are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. We're ready for some vacation! <laughs> Townsville Airport just arrived, two and a half hour flight from Brisbane, early start. We're gonna we're about three hours drive. Uh -huh. Guys, settle down back there. We've got about a, a 250 kilometer drive. We're gonna stop it in some waterfalls on the way. We're gonna stop and grab an esky for Joey because he wants to start drinking. It must be breakfast time. Yeah! Okay, and uh, we're gonna take it from there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here's beers and more beers. For a six pack. This is like changing my life. Twenty dollars for a six pack. You want to know how to quit drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll someday get to look at waterfalls. Well, this will get us to the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Here, awesome. something. That's, a, that's, that's mine. Are you paying for that one separate or is it going? <laughs> <laughs> so how much is it now? One thousand and eighty-one dollars. Oh my god! I thought it'd be at least eleven hundred. We're good. Yeah. You're welcome, son. I buy more alcohol than any non-drinker ever. Cheers, boys! Cheers! Cheers. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, <laughs> Daddy. A <laughs> papa. <laughs> Two hours later. We finally made it. We are at Little Crystal Creek. I guess it would be North Queensland, Australia. This place is absolutely, you guys hear it a lot, incredible. I think what's so neat about it is look at all the different styles of waterfalls that are in here. So a big reason why we love coming on these things is A, we love to be out in nature, but this is where we seek inspiration from. This is what motivates us and pushes us to be the best artists we can be because we're trying to replicate this when we're doing our jobs which we love. We love being out here, taking all the cues from Mother Nature. And I mean, who's a better artist? You know, I mean, look at this place. This is absolutely incredible. And I think what's neat about it is the further back and the further out or the higher you climb, the more different things you are going to see. Around every turn, every crevasse, you're seeing something completely unique to itself. Everything's different, which is what's beautiful about it, is you don't know what you're gonna see over any bluff or around any corner. It's awesome. This is definitely a bucket list experience for me. We use basalt columns all the time back home and they usually come from Mongolia and they're drilled out and you see the water coming over the top of them. We're all the way to the other side of the world in Australia and behind me is a basalt column waterfall. So I have a mini version of this at my house. All of this says is I have a lot more work to do. <laughs> this is so cool. What an unbelievable week. 
I always tell people, especially at the academy or, or different training events that we host, if you really want to get good at your craft, go study Mother Nature and mm -hmm. see what Mother Nature is doing. What's cool at the, at the end of every day in these epic trips, we come back to Patrick's Pond and we're almost seeing the exact same things just on a much smaller scale. Yeah, and Patrick definitely has some inspiration too from the area that he you know grew up in out here yeah he's, he's done a fantastic job so the one thing that stands out the most for me in patrick's pond is the edge treatments you know we always talk about we love where we can't tell where the water ends and the land begins but what he did so masterfully masterfully what he did so masterfully oh my god what he did so good <laughs> is the way he set the rocks back you don't see boulders sitting up on top of each other they're all kind of nestled back just like mother nature would do you know a bunch of boulders were coming down a hillside mother nature would not leave them teetering on top of each other like this in fact if that was the case it'd probably be a big tourist attraction because mm -hmm. it's not normal and then the way he implemented all those plants in between the cracks just looks so good i think the shape of the pond is really excellent too there's all these little areas i love the big rock out of water and completely surrounded by water there's mm -hmm. some shallow areas there's deep areas again reinforcing those those shelves that we create when we're building totally agree with you brian i've taken so many pictures of the edge treatments just to draw inspiration from what patrick's done what i also think is a neat thing is you just look at the water quality right and the clarity of it there's there's excellent circulation so when you're actually interacting with this pond you can see all the way down to the bottom you know these rocks we would call destination boulders back home the kind of rocks you know really flat they invite you to walk up onto them and then from across the pond you come over here you get to the destination and you realize that you could jump or dive off into the pond right here it's so much fun we were talking about the water quality a little bit and from up here it also gives you that bird's eye view and you can see down through the water and see the angel fish and the rainbow fish and some of the barramundi and stuff that he's got in there and it just looks so cool we talk so often about putting destination rocks and oftentimes we put them outside the water but there are so many destination rocks inside the water as well and we used them, I think, to their fullest potential because yep. we were crawling all over them, gathering around them. I mean, we spent hours in here just hanging out because not only out of the water, but in the water, we're able to interact with this thing. And we forgot the most epic part of his pond, that sand beach over there. Mm -hmm. And the sand beach is like a giant destination boulder. When we were hanging out in the pond, where was everybody congregated? It was kind of like the kitchen inside your house. You right. know, like everybody was piled up on that sand beach. And that big boulder over there, everybody was kind of huddled around. And then the other benches mm -hmm. that he had in that area. I mean, talk about a place to hang out with your friends and have a couple cold ones. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so very few properties actually lend the um, opportunity to pull off an actual negative, you know, or infinity edge type look. Mm -hmm. And because of the natural topography of Patrick's property, to have that negative edge and design the pond he, the way he did, with the whole thing overflowing that way towards the ocean, just looks amazing. So it literally looks like this thing could keep going all the way to the ocean. Yeah. So something we've never really done back home, in fact, never, is a sand beach into a yeah. pond. And I don't know if it's because we didn't have the courage or the skill set, but I know one thing, when we get home, we're gonna put some sand beaches yep. down here because Patrick has done it over and over again. And for me, it's like a giant destination boulder. Yeah. So inviting, it just calls you into the pond. You see all the little baby fish darting around. They've got those underwater destination boulders that you were talking about. That just invites you to spend two, four, 12 hours on. Right, you right, know, right. I don't know how much time we spent down here. And it was, it was just sitting here, hanging out, enjoying the pond and having this amazing view behind you of the waterfall, which obviously is incredible. There's not one thing on this pond that's not incredible. Even the water lilies, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's so neat to yeah, just be able to swim and stuff underneath. It's just got a beautiful mix of terrestrial plants and edgewater plants, deep water plants. Everything is just so fantastic looking. It's so well thought out and put together. Even the weeds here look beautiful. <laughs> I, which, I don't think we could pull that off back at home, but one sure man's did. weed is another man's flower. That's deep. <laughs> I don't think there's really much more we can say. I'm almost speechless trying to think of how we can encapsulate this trip of a lifetime into words. It's really neat to and reinforcing to see what happens in mother nature is happening here in an ecosystem pond it's been fantastic man i don't know I have, if i could say two words inspirational mm -hmm. memorable yeah. right you're not going to forget anything we've done and i'm going home like re-energized you yep. know and a perfect time of year because back home it's still snowing yep. and so we're going to get to go back home hit our season hard and uh and hopefully try to recreate mother nature hope you guys liked it what do they do now they're going to first subscribe if you haven't already hit the little bell so you're notified every time we come out with new content comment please let us know what you thought was so awesome about this trip oh, well it's not too much so and just a, do those things and a thumbs like, up yeah. and a thumbs up hey. <laughs> until next time brian chris 
Brian Chris from Team Aquascape. We'll see you guys later.